We are on IBC 2016 with Ryan uh, from Road Microphones and we're going to answer a question which I see a lot on Facebook groups. Which microphone should I get for my DSLR or my mirrorless system? So uh, Ryan, let's uh, discuss the different options we have. Uh. Alright, so I've got three different models here, uh, different levels. Um, of uh, acoustic cancellation and also uh, electronics inside to, to get the best result uh, for your uh, DSLR camera, mirrorless camera. Uh, the entry level mic that we have uh, is the Video Micro, Rode Video Micro. This is a, uh, a small little condenser microphone that's powered directly from the preamp of the camera itself. Uh, it goes directly onto the camera shoe and it is a directional microphone that cancels sound from the rear and picks up in the front. So it's a cardioid pickup pattern which means that basically if you've got any noise around you, the best way to operate it is to put the noise directly behind you and shoot in the direction of you know, what you want to actually pick up. Um, it has quite a wide pickup pattern, but it does reject sound from the rear, which makes it very useful uh, to, to get better audio on your camera. Now, one of the challenges with a DSLR camera or a mirrorless camera is that it has a tiny little omnidirectional mic that picks up everything, including all the clicks and bumps of the camera, uh, which is why uh, the video micro comes on a Ryko Liar shock mount to help suspend it. Uh, it just goes into a standard 3.5mm mm -hmm. connector, very easy to use. The next step up from there, you're looking at the video mic Go. Now this is a shotgun microphone, meaning that it cancels out sound from the sides and picks up directly in the front. So what it's actually doing is excluding more of that environment and you can use it to more effectively cancel out background noise. Now again, this microphone doesn't have a power supply internally, it's powered directly from the camera itself. So you plug that into the camera, it supplies power to the capsule, and then it just works straight away. So every time you hit the record button, you're picking up the microphone on board. One of the biggest challenges with a DSLR or a mirrorless camera is that the audio circuit is very low quality. So it's like when you have to push up the ISO when you're doing your exposure. As you push up the ISO, what happens is you get a lot of noise in your picture. It's the same with your audio gain. If you, if you have to push up the ISO uh, of your picture, it's going to be noisy. If you have to push up the gain of your audio, it's going to be noisy. So uh, when you consider that uh, a nice audio recorder is actually quite a large little unit, and then you've got the audio circuit on a DSLR camera is like tiny, it's not very good quality. So you need to be able to combat that by getting nicer, cleaner audio into the camera. So for that reason, we have the VideoMic Pro. Now the VideoMic Pro runs from a 9 volt battery and basically when you turn it on you've got an option for a plus 20 decibel function. So uh, the plus 20 decibel function means that you get really nice clean gain, clean audio out of this uh, microphone that, that goes into the camera at a high level and it lets you turn down the preamp. It's like having a really fast lens, like a 1.2 lens or something. When you're letting in more light you can turn down the ISO, it's the same with your audio. If you let in a lot more clean sound, you can turn down that camera pre-gain and you end up with a really nice clean uh, result. So uh, this again is a shotgun microphone, meaning that it cancels out sounds around the side, picks up directly in front, gives you much better directionality. Uh, it also has a high pass filter, which means that you're cutting off low frequencies below a certain point, which is about 75 hertz on this one. Uh, and that cuts out like rumble, handling noise, things like that. Uh, a couple of other really important steps uh, when you're trying to get really good audio on your camera. If you have the ability to turn off automatic gain control, usually listed as AGC in your audio settings, turn it off because what happens when you've got automatic gain control is the camera is always trying to find the highest level. So if you're speaking, it turns down the preamp while you're speaking and the second that there's silence in the room, it starts turning it up, looking for the, looking for the volume of the room. It's like running auto exposure. It's the last thing that you want to do because it's going to change the, the whole dynamics of the audio and you're going to end up with a noisy track. So turn off that automatic gain control. Make sure your microphone has a good suspension mount like this uh, Ryko Liar suspension. And if you're shooting outdoors, always use a furry windshield, a dead cat windshield. Yeah, so that's very important. Absolutely. So The moment I start using them, the audio was so much better on the... Uh, on my videos. Yeah, yeah, exactly right. So something like this uh, with the video micro, it comes with uh, this little windshield here that you place on the outside and basically the artificial fur helps to catch that wind and really reduce it. A foam windshield uh, like the one that's, that comes just by default on your, your VideoMic Pro, for instance, is great for light wind. Uh, but as soon as you've got, say, if you're outside and you've got enough 
wind to start moving the, the leaves of the trees mm -hmm. and things like that, that's a good indicator for when you have to have a furry windshield. So you can get the Dead Cat VMP for this one, the Dead Cat Go for the video mic Go. Okay. Uh, it's, it's very important. So if you're shooting outdoors, always use a, mm -hmm. a, a, a fur windshield. If you're using it for, for vlogging, it's perfect because if you, you've kind of got mm -hmm. the camera, you know, just out, you know, mm -hmm. on, a, on a little, you know, kind of <laughs> tripod or something mm -hmm. like that, you can pick up your voice very clearly and then you can also kind of still engage your audience with and a little bit of And you can't forget to turn it on because it's always on. Exactly right. Yeah, that's one of the <laughs> <laughs> handy little features there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's say we want to go a bit a step further, yep. we want to use a, a, a bigger microphone on a DSLR, yep. but also uh, we want to use it on a professional camera with XLR. What are yep. the solutions then? So you can get a, a shotgun microphone, a self-powered shotgun microphone. We have the NTG2 or the NTG4 Plus. Uh, they are microphones that have an internal battery, so it means that they, they're self-powered. You run from an XLR connector into your 3.5mm jack or into the XLRs on your camera if you've got them available. Uh, that's the best option if you want to go the next step up from, a, from an on-camera mic like this uh, and get a more professional shotgun microphone. Uh, and then the most important thing uh, is if you're in a noisy environment and you have the ability to get the microphone off the camera and get it closer to the sound source. So something that a lot of people do is they always leave their microphone directly on camera. And what they're doing with a shotgun microphone is they're picking up what's in front of the camera, but they're also picking up what's behind the person they're, they're shooting. So, so if you have the microphone mounted just out of frame and aiming downwards, you're using the, the, the polar pattern of the microphone which rejects sound from the sides all around the mic like this you're using that to cancel out all the sounds on the set and you're picking up just directly through the path of the voice and aiming the mic at the quietest part on set which is usually the floor so that's how you get really good results with any shotgun microphone whether it be you know a professional shotgun microphone on a boom pole or even your video mic pro that's the best way to use it okay now you know uh, which audio options Rode uh, has for uh, DSLR and mirrorless shooters thanks for watching